Hey, I'm CNS Rye Chris, and I'm here with the Decor Renaissance 30 inch double wall oven. Now, this is an oven that promises powerful performance and flexible cooking, and we put it to the test with all sorts of recipes, and indeed, it makes some delicious food. Everything we made in this oven just tasted fantastic. It tasted much better than anything else we cooked in any other oven. It was in a league of its own throughout all of our tests. Now that level of premium performance doesn't come without a premium price tag, and in the case of the Renaissance, that's a whopping $5,000. This is a very expensive, very luxurious oven, but you are going to get really good tasting food. I just can't stress that enough. So aside from making great dishes, let's take a look at what else the Renaissance has to offer as an oven. It's got two chambers, and you'll be able to control them both independent of each other up here from one design. The Renaissance also promises not to leach flavor from one cavity to the other, and we tested this out by roasting garlic in the bottom chamber while baking sugar cookies in the upper chamber. No one could tell that I had baked them at the same time as that roasted garlic. There wasn't any flavor crossing over. It did a great job in that test. If we take a look inside the oven, we'll see that it has a pretty roomy 4.8 cubic foot capacity, and that's the same on the top and the bottom. You'll also find this glide rack. You get four of these, and they have ball bearings. They come out really smooth and easy. If you have a heavy dish on them, it's no problem to pull it out. It makes it a lot easier. But I will say that taking these glide racks in and out of the oven, which you're going to need to do when you're running a cleaning cycle or when you're rearranging things, it can be a little difficult. You sort of have to jimmy it, have to shake it a little bit. I don't like that because they're expensive, and I don't want to bend anything. But still, a very good rack. Now if we take a look in the back of the oven, we've taken the vent off of this fan and we can show you it's spinning as we turn it on. And the interesting thing is, is that unlike other convection ovens, this one actually pulls air in. It doesn't blow hot air out. And Decor claims that that makes for more even dispersal of hot air throughout the oven. It circulates air better. It does a better job with the performance boost that you get from convection. Decor performs fantastic and if they say that's the reason why, I'm inclined to believe them. Aside from that 2200 watt convection heating element in the back, you've got the broil element on top and also the baking element in the bottom. And if you take a look inside again, the baking element is actually hidden beneath this bottom of the oven. So if you spill anything, if you have any grease that drops or you drop a slice of pizza, whatever it is, it's not going to land on your heating element on a set of coils. It's going to be a lot easier to clean. All in all, these features are nice and add up to a very good oven, but most of them are features that you can find in less expensive ovens. The convection fan, the gliding racks, the hidden heating element, those are all things that aren't unique to decor. The only really unique feature is that reverse convection fan. But that said, even though it's not the most feature rich or the most flashy oven, it just performs great. If that's your chief concern, if you want to have a fantastic Thanksgiving dinner, this is an oven you really can't go wrong with, if you've got the money. For CNET, I'm Rye Christ.